I've thrown this into several of my videos on the end as side notes, but no more. I'm going all out this time. Camera and everything. There's a little word called opinion that a lot of people watching my videos do not seem to get. This is the third time I've tried to write what I want to say. The first two tries were more like rants, and while I realize it's really satisfying to write a rant, publishing it would make me no better than those I'm ranting about, so I'm going to go about this calmly and pray that all of you are not like children who need to have something yelled at them to get the point. I want to do this by sharing some of the comments I've gotten on YouTube. Some of these are the type I love to see, some of them are ridiculous, but almost all the comments I'm about to show you are disagreeing with me. Not to say I don't appreciate compliments, I do, but a comment saying something like, OMG, your videos are awesome, lol, has less value to me than a comment that's actually discussing what I had to say in the video. The first few comments I want to share are from my top five, where I listed the five franchises that I wanted to see dead. Now, one through four, people tended to agree with me, but I put Final Fantasy as number five, and I think Double O Donut said it best when he commented, Oh Jesus, you have incurred the wrath of Final Fantasy fans. Lock your doors and bar your windows. Didn't I know it. A couple of days later, I got two comments from Grand Theft Mini Me 001. He writes, this retard thinks FF should die? One star rated, shortly followed by this comment. Because you can't bang hookers or drive by in a car or fucking chainsaw aliens that come out of the dirt in RPGs, you degrade them? Fucking douchebag. Granted, this last comment about what I played may have been brought on by the fact that I was using a character from GTA 4 to save the video. However, the character I'm using to say a video has never had anything to do with what I'm actually saying, honest. The first comment has to do with the YouTube rating system. Now I know I'm not going to change how any of you rate YouTube videos, but I don't think the rating should be based on how much the viewer disagrees or agrees with the video. Rather, it should be a rating on the video itself. Was it entertaining to watch? Did it keep your attention? Was it easy to watch? And as a side note, generalizations are never a good idea. I like RPGs, just usually not the turn-based ones. My recent review of Prototype is where I want to share the next two comments from. You can watch that and become enraged here. Now I gave this game a D-, and that didn't sit too well with those who enjoyed the game. Let's first take a comment from Jacob's Camel. He writes, This reviewer is an idiot. He says the rest needs some voice lessons? It's called acting! All the games, and the game's awesome. You make it look like shit. This should be taken off the internet. This is... Wow, this is incredible. First of all, I made the game look like shit because to me, it was. But that's not what gets me. Him calling me an idiot and saying that my video should be taken off the internet because he, it disagrees with him and says the game isn't awesome? That's the epitome of ignorance, I'm afraid. If you like the game, that's great! More power to you! That means that the hours you spent playing it were more enjoyable than mine. However, if you want to disagree with me, do it intelligently. Like this. This next comment is taken from the same prototype review, and it's written by The Nice Nut. I think you were a bit harsh. This game is fun, but I can see how you would think this way. I would give it a B plus or an A minus. The Nice Nut is a frequent commenter on my videos, and he only agrees with me about half the time, but this is the kind of comment I love to see. I love it that you have your own opinion, and I love it that you can express it in an intelligent way. This is what I want to see more of. Another thing that happens with my more controversial videos is that arguments ensue. Somebody disagrees with me, and somebody else st stands up to defend my standpoint. Of course, I'm half fantasizing there. Usually what happens is that one of the debaters finally results to personal insults, and it all goes downhill from there. But if you think you can refrain from doing that last part, I'd love to see you commenting on my videos and responding to other people's opinions in intelligent and mature ways. So go ahead and voice your opinion. 
I'd love to hear it. Just don't attack anybody and call them a douche or an idiot for disagreeing with you. I know that must be so hard for some people, but give it a try. Okay.